We're almost there, home stretch, Christmas is coming. We're all very excited. Over the last nine videos, I showed you some of my favorite Filipino appetizers, main courses, and just things you can serve to your family and friends. We're making a total of 12 videos and we've already done nine. So what time is it now? It's, you guessed it, time for some dessert. Let it be known that I have never made this recipe before. So today you'll be watching me reading a recipe. Yep, I do that too sometimes. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that is because my mom, for me and for a lot of people I know, makes the best cassava cake I've ever tried in the world. And she never wants to give me her recipe. So I asked our wonderful Yaya Bell to write it down. So I have the secret in my hands. Um, the recipe is questionable in terms of quantities. So let's put it all together, try and figure it out. This is a strange cake for me because it doesn't use flour, it uses cassava as the main starch, um, and that's it. So you don't add flour or anything. So it's basically like a flan because it has lots of eggs, lots of milks, different milks, sugar, and then obviously a starch element with cassava. That topped with some grated cheese is the best dessert you can have for Christmas. I don't care about it. What anyone says about Brazo de Mercedes or, or Yuletide logs or none of that it's all about the cassava cake. It's delicious, it's good, and it's probably difficult to make, so let's figure it out. Um, if you've never seen a cassava, here it is. You're welcome. Um, now what we're all gonna do is grate some cassava. If I find my grater. Where's the grater? There it is. So we're looking for like a cheese-like grate. Um, these are pretty tough, so really go at it. We need a lot of this. I'm gonna base my whole recipe because this recipe is literally for like 24 to 30 cakes. Um, my mom usually makes them in bulk and then gives them to all her friends. So I'm just gonna base myself on this size. Try to look at the viscosity and kind of like the texture and figure out how all that fits in here. Like she said, seven cups of cassava. There's no way in hell I'm grading seven cups of cassava today. Sorry, I can't say hell on Christmas. It's not a lot. It's about two cups. I think I need a bit more than that. Oh, right, and by the way, if you've watched all our other savory videos, then this starts off the Christmas dessert videos. So now it's all about dessert, and I'm a terrible baker. I apologize in advance for any mistakes. Ah, I'm kidding. Yeah. All right, I have about four cups. I think this is manageable. We'll work with that first. Let me clean this up before all the internet warriors tell me I'm too Dirty. That's in other ingredients that are going inside our cake. Um, on my recipe, it says a whole stick of butter. I don't believe it. Well, maybe for that amount. So I'm just gonna use maybe, I was about to scoop it with my hands. I'm gonna start with one third and then see where we go from there. I'm not sure if, if butter is kind of like, or margarine is a traditional piece of this recipe, but my mom doesn't and I love her cake, so I'm gonna add it. She's not a fan of things that are too sweet, which is why her recipe only calls for a one half cup of white sugar. Sorry, I meant one half, yeah, a half cup. Not one and one half cup, just a half cup. But then you add some evaporated milk, so that sugar comes back. Use the tools at your disposition, just like the monkeys. Condensed milk. That's flavor right there. That gets tossed in with some coconut cream and then some fresh coconut water. Three eggs. The recipe doesn't call for salt, but I think salt Makes sense, so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna go ahead and just mix everything together. I don't know how thick it's supposed to be, so let me make a call. You know what's funny, like, even though I haven't lived in the house for like maybe 20 years now, I can still remember my phone number. Hello, Mr. Kenny. Hello, is this the Yusuf residence? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, hello? Hello. Hi, it's Erwan. Ah, okay, wait. Can huh? I talk to Bell? Bell? Yes. It's Erwan. Yeah. How are you? Can you help me with the cassava cake? How how thick is the batter supposed to be? Parang super li super liquid or parang Ah, uh, i-melt mo muna bago mo i-mix sa ano, nakalimutan ko maglagay. <laughs> melt melt ano, yung butter? Uh, uh, uh tapos i-mix mo sa ano, sa mixing sa cassava 
Oh, I did that now. That's okay. Pero yung mix, dapat super liquid or super thick? Ah, uh, super liquid. Super liquid. Oo, tapos eh, i-ano mo na nga malamig, huwag mo na yung ilagay yung mainit pa sa mixing bowl mo. Ah, okay. So lahat malamig na lang. Oo. Okay, so no curdles. So dapat just thick kasi daming coconut, daming cassava, pero liquid pa rin, no? Oo, liquid siya. Okay, salamat. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Call a friend. Coconut goes in. I think for me, Maybe just to kind of be sure, I'm gonna add some extra yolks so that I'm 100% sure it sets. It won't really change much in terms of flavor. I think, I think that seems okay to me. Add a little bit more coconut. The cake is supposed to be very dense. It's not like an airy and light thing. So let's figure it out as we go. So everything's in here, I think, is it? Yes, everything's in here, except for the topping. So the topping later, we're gonna add in some cheese right on top. I'm gonna add some cheese and some butter. Just really making sure that the cake doesn't stick, so I'm just buttering my tin, a lot of butter. That gets filled in, usually rule of thumb is 3 fourths. Pack it with some more cassava and coconut. Okay, my oven's been preheating at 325 convection Fahrenheit. Um, I'm gonna chuck that in there, I think for about four, 30 to 40 minutes. Take it out, we're gonna add in some grated cheddar cheese on top, put it on top, let that kind of burn out for about 20 more minutes, get nice and crispy, and then take it out, let it cool, and eat it. Oh shit, there's still chicken in there. <laughs> 45 minutes later. Seems a little loose. Let's see. I'm not gonna lose hope just yet. Cheese goes on top. I mean, let's be honest, the more cheese, the better. Cheddar cheese is usually the norm. You can even use things like quick melt. That is a flavor that we're very much used to having with cassava, and it does bring a lot of different kind of like flavors to it, which is quite nice, because it has, quick melt has that sweet taste. I'm just using a sharp cheddar here, because I think the cassava is already sweet enough. The cake, rather, not the, not the root itself. Okay, lots of cheese. We go back in for about 20 minutes. <laughs> It'd suck if I just dropped it. It looks beautiful. So happy that worked. I shaked it a little bit. I have batch number two here, um, which is a circle dish, much thinner, and then I can move it like that. And I put a knife through it just to double check, and it came out clean. So it means it's actually pretty set. Um, the problem with this is if you take it out right now, it's gonna go all over the place. So it's really important to cool it down first and then place it in the fridge for at least an hour just to let things solidify a little bit. I know it's tempting to eat it now, but we can't. All that is left, it's still a little warm. All that's left to do is to Cut a piece. Usually cassava cake isn't the type of cake that you flip out, you leave it in the tin. Well, that's how my mom does it all the time. So um, let's try to slice and see what happens. Okay, this is when you have to say a little prayer. From the moment I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. Oh yeah. That actually looks perfect. I'm so happy that worked, that worked. Thanks mom, sorry for telling everyone your secret. It's my secret now. Well, it's, no, it's the world's secret. I'm gonna let you into a little, another little secret. When you get cassava cake, go for the corners. That's where all the cheese is, that's where you crust all around. Once you get in the middle, it gets a little, uh, I don't know. But here you have all that reaction, all that cheese, all that beautiful crust, and you don't even need a fork and knife. Oh, that's good. It's rich though, it's really rich. A couple bites of that though, and you're good. I really hope you guys try out this recipe, because it's really good. It's not too sweet, surprisingly, it's not too sweet. Perfect for coffee, perfect for the holidays, for family is going to love this. Make sure to check out all the other recipes. There's one more recipe coming. It's bibinka. I don't know if I can make it. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. In any case, it's the holidays. Let's all be nice to each other. Much love, peace, happiness. Please like, comment, subscribe.